Welcome back to Morning Break on this Monday. Well, we sit high above the river and often yeah. get a glimpse of why the port of Savannah is the nation's fastest growing port. A new art exhibit opening this week captures it as well. Yeah, we saw Kyle was down on the river a little bit early. We're going to check back in with him. He has actually gotten on the yacht that he was there. Uh, Kyle, I know that you are there to talk to the artist, but really, you just want to be on the boat, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to be on a boat. I did not expect to be moving quite as much uh, as we are uh, docked here right off of River Street. In fact, I'm looking directly across at the uh, Savannah Convention Center just to give you an idea of where we are on the Savannah River. And you take a look at this painting behind me. This is uh, depicting the mouth of the Savannah River as it empties out uh, into the Atlantic. This is uh, by a local artist who has been here in this area for quite some time, not necessarily doing this full time. He actually had a full time gig just up the river at the Port of Savannah. And I want to bring in the artist, uh, Robert Morris, who is joining me at this morning to talk morning. about uh, talk about uh, the, the exhibit that's about yeah. to open up. Yeah. Um, we talk about the water. It is such a big aspect of what we have here in Savannah. You have captured it in your work, and, and this is just a taste of what's opening up. Yeah, I think right here is a very special place. It's one of the first places that really struck me. When you see those large vessels leave port, uh, it, it, something goes with us with that vessel. Where is the ship going? What kind of high seas will they, what's in all those boxes? And there's some of that mystery of the river and of shipping that I feel like I've captured in this collection of 30 uh, works of art that will open at the Ships of the Sea Museum on Wednesday. Please come to the opening at uh, 5.30 to 9. And um, yeah, and it's exciting. You've, you have spent your life along this waterway, or at least the last 20 years, uh, as the chief communications officer with the port. How much of, of your work is by memory of things that you've seen, or how often are you sitting there along the water and capture something that, you, that you've just witnessed going by? Yeah, so we are on The Grace, which is my floating studio, and uh, here uh, docked at uh, City Front or anchored in any number of different places I'm able to capture in, in real time en plein air or en plein vessel uh, the, the paintings uh, that, uh, that, that really represent uh, this maritime community, I think. And the, the ships, the, the scenes, the landscapes, and the men and women working along the river. The, the theme of the, or the title of the exhibit is Outward Bound. How much of that is a metaphor for you and for yeah. your life and kind of where you're, where you're going and transitioning out of being the communications officer. Well, we just saw a massive vessel leave here, and it was the, the nautical term for one of those large vessels leaving port is outward bound. And uh, so this painting right here is, uh, is, is a great example of a, of a vessel going outward bound. But, but upon leaving the port after 20 years there, being in a safe harbor, uh, and and you know getting this uh, the grace involved in in the art uh, it was very much like going out uh, in outward bound and I was uh, also on the survival course outward bound as a, as a young person and so it, it sort of feels like coming full circle. Yeah. You you were telling me before we came on the air that your background was both in art but also in in journalism so you've kind of had this experience now getting to do this. I think maybe a lot of people who who have known you for the last 20 years may not even know that, that you had this talent or that this was something that you had a passion for. Yeah, I mean, this is my third exhibit at the Ships to Sea Museum. Uh, I had a one large one mansion at the Tell Fair and many museums around the country, but when I was in my day job, I was very clear that that was my day job. and. I loved it. I mean, working at the Georgia Ports Authority for 20 years was uh, were the best 20 years of my life. It, it was it was a dream job. It being involved in international trade right on the ground floor on those docks um, is really an exciting thing to be a part of. And um, you know, I feel like I'm I'm incorporating those experiences into what I'm doing now. And being able to put this uh, this work on display at the Ships of the Sea Maritime yeah. Museum, specifically because that's what it's highlighting. It is highlighting our our, our nautical adventure here along the, the Savannah coastline and the Savannah River. Um, how important was that to, to put it up there? Yeah, well, very much so. And, uh, you know, Molly, who is the new executive director there, and her support for my work is something that uh, I am just so humbled by. And the entire team there, the, the show is, is actually uh, being installed today, um, 31 pieces, and 
I don't even know exactly how it's going to look. It's going to be exciting to go in there on Wednesday and have a look at it. Yeah. Well, as he mentioned, there is a, an opening celebration for that exhibit on Wednesday. Everyone is invited. They'll have a cash bar there, uh, free admission, and you can go and check it out. And he also mentioned Molly. We're going to catch up with her uh, coming up in the next half hour and find out a little bit more about what's going on over there at the Ships of the Sea Maritime Museum. For now, back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks, Kyle. Well, morning break is outward bound here, but on the other